Hi. Okay. So if you clicked on this video, you were probably either starting to plan your wedding or in the middle of planning your wedding. And I just wanted a little PSA at the beginning here to kind of let you know what inspired me to make this video. So when I was looking for content that would help me kickstart planning a wedding and get me excited about it, I of course went to YouTube. Um, and I just couldn't quite find the content I was looking for. So this is kind of my attempt to make that video. I wanted something a little bit more vlocky, something a little bit more chill, relaxing, like a kind of exciting, not too info dense. Um, but like, I was just having a conversation with someone who was like telling me how to get started and like what the process was. And also someone who could like kind of help me think about and like create a wedding that like wasn't too trendy, wasn't too basic, was kind of like infused with their personal style and just had like kind of a cool, like effortless vibe to it. So whether I was successful in filling that void or not um, is TBD, but this is my attempt to do so. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Hi friends, uh, my name is Mackenzie. This is my channel, Think Too Much. Max and I got engaged last December. It's now September, 2023. We're getting married in September, 2024. So we're really kind of fully diving into the planning process uh, despite all of my desires to procrastinate it. But I thought I'd do like a video kind of like going over some of the beginning stages of our planning. We've, um, we've actually gotten a little bit out ahead of it, which is cool. We've got like a guest list. Obviously we've got the date. Um, we know our venue, we're gonna get married at my parents' house. Um, they've got this like beautiful property. It's about 10 acres. Um, it's really beautifully landscaped. Uh, I lived there my whole childhood. So I grew up there um, and I think it's gonna be really nice. And, and we were kind of going back and forth whether we do it because my parents live in California because that's where I'm from. Um, we we're going back and forth on whether we do it in California versus like New York because uh, Max's parents also live in California. I have a bunch of family in California. He has a bunch of family in California. As I kind of continue to look at inspo and like figure out what I wanted the event to look like, I kind of realized that I was interested and had like a vision of like a garden wedding. And I think I kind of realized that by kind of looking at indoor spaces because that was a lot of what we were looking at here and just kind of not feeling the like pull to those spaces. Does that make sense? And when they're asking you to pay like thousands of dollars for them, it really just makes it clear how indifferent you are <laughs> or like uninspired. And so I realized I want to do a garden wedding. And then it was just kind of easy because it was like, why should I pay thousands of dollars to get married in a garden in New York when I have like a phenomenal garden yard with like so much sentimental value in California. And it's like accessible to all of our family. If we did it here, it was going to be like smaller, which like would have helped with the cost. Um, but I just really liked the idea of like a big wedding where I could be like a pseudo family reunion for both me and Max. So once we kind of settled on the venue, my parents' place, um, and kind of enlisted their help, it was just kind of about pulling inspiration. And I kind of landed on this like kind of like a formal garden party, kind of inspired by like, you know, the, the movie Sabrina, Audrey Hepburn's in it. Um, just kind of this like very elegant, uh, cause I want to still wear really fancy dresses. <laughs> so still very elegant uh, garden party, um, with like beautifully landscaped and like flowers and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, in terms of like the space itself, I kind of want to just like lean into the nature of my parents' backyard. Um, and there's like a ton of plants, so, you know, check, easy. Uh, probably not doing a ton of florals outside of that because it's in a backyard and they already have it so landscaped. It just seems like a good way to save some money, especially because the money we save on the venue, we will probably be paying, um, or probably like be spending on rentals for supplies and like things like tables and chairs that venues usually supply. Uh, and kind of in the theme of the Sabrina, Audrey Hepburn, era, I kind of wanted to lean into a little bit of like a somewhat like 60s glam vibe. I should say 60s, 70s, cause like kind of cool, like warm tone pastels, like bridesmaids with like kind of beautiful, like full, like long gowns and parasols and just kind of like these like great grassy fields. Like I kind of want to lean into that as well. So currently our main objectives are finding a photographer, which we're kind of late on with the, we've already hired a planner. Um, and we're doing like partial planning because 
my parents again are like offering a ton of help um and we want to save money so yeah <laughs> so we hired a planner and when we talked to her she basically said that like one of the first things you want to do is hire a photographer they get picked up so quickly like ideally more than a year in advance so we're behind on that which is a bummer it's been weirdly difficult to find photographers that we both like i kind of wanted like a more candid like editorial kind of like vintage film style I like that idea i think it seems cute and like the kind of thing i'd want to hang in my apartment versus like the more stoic feeling traditional style images i just i don't really see myself like wanting to hang them in my apartment i don't know if that's like a good standard to go by because i don't know if people in general put wedding photos up on their walls in apartments but it's standard i'm going by so whatever and yeah we've just like really struggled to find someone who can kind of like do the aesthetic and do it well and then the other main thing is uh we already have our guest list but we need to make sure we have everyone's address right so we can send out the save the dates which will hopefully go out in the next like month and um i feel like i did myself a bit of a disservice by opting to design our own save the dates and invites and i don't mean just like design like on one of the platforms where you like use one of their like templates and do that um, I've like been literally like hand drawing illustrations and like the writing um, and I like the way it looks I like that it's a little bit more like of a personal invite to the people that were asking to come what I don't like is that it's such a fucking pain in the ass and I am not a graphic designer so I probably am not doing it in the smart efficient way I'm doing it in the dumb slow way <laughs> so that's another thing I'll probably I don't know if I would take you on this trip because it's gonna be so fucking boring. I have to go to UPS to scan some, um, to scan some of my drawings. Yeah, so anyway, hopefully we get those wrapped up. I think this weekend, I think I'm going to use this video as inspiration to get those done by the time I'm wrapped filming on the video. So this weekend it's going down, baby. So we ordered proofs of the save the date just to kind of make sure they printed okay because my illustrator skills um, are amateur at best. <laughs> Apologize for the shoddy camera work. Um, my hands are shaky. Uh, but yeah, so this is the front. It's like save the date with the date, obviously. And then this is the back. The picture is a little dark. We liked this like pearl paper. I ordered it a bunch of, in a bunch of different papers. I want a different layout. I feel like this looks too big to me. I don't like that it's like wider than the picture. And then I want this in handwriting. So it's the only thing I'm missing and I want to die because I really don't want to go to UPS to scan things. <laughs> but I must because I really, really hate the URL being a different thing. <laughs> All right, friends, this is our final draft. Next up, we're ordering samples. Hopefully those are good enough so we can buy all of the save the dates and then finally send them off. Sending some emails that I've been procrastinating for a long time to the florist, to our planner, to ask about photographers, because we're lost, and to a potential officiant. So. <laughs> Okay, I think this is where we're going to end the wedding vlog. What's next is ordering the samples of the save the dates and then sending out the save the dates. I need to continue following up with the florist, figure out a photographer, uh, and then next week we're actually gonna be in California. So hopefully I can do some in-person meetings uh, with the florist and I can see the flowers in person. I have no idea if that's how that works. I really hope it is, but who fucking knows? <laughs> Uh, yeah, but oh yeah, and we're also gonna try some catering while we're in California. So that'll be cool I guess in terms of like my process the way I've been kind of incorporating this into my life is just doing it on Sundays 
It's like the good old fashioned, like you always put your homework off until like the last minute on Sunday. I always put wedding planning off until the last minute on Sunday because it is a lift. It's cool though. I feel like it's a lift, but it's fun, whatever. Um, and obviously it's such a privileged thing to be able to do in the first place and to be able to see our family and help them gather. It's not like, oh, I have to plan a wedding. It's just, um, I guess the headache of like event planning in general, but the wedding itself, I'm, I'm really appreciative to have the opportunity to have and plan and include all of our family. It's, it should be, a, it should be a lot of fun regardless of how the details pan out. Um, yeah, but I hope this offered some inspiration for you and helped any new fiancés kickstart your wedding planning. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please like and subscribe, um, or just like, or just subscribe, really, anything. I'll take anything. <laughs> no, seriously, thank you for watching, um, and I hope you have a good one. Bye. <laughs>